have a little clue here of what we're talking about today. What are we talking about today? Take a wild stab. Water. Water it is, correct. Water is what we're talking about today. You know, and water is a pretty amazing thing. Hi, Luke, come on. Come over here. Come over there. Perfect. Water is a pretty amazing thing. If water gets cold, what happens to it? It freezes, and what does it turn into? Ice. It turns into ice. Well, but then if it melts, it goes back to looking like what? It's like magic. What if water gets really, really hot? What happens to water? It turns into steam, exactly. The only thing with that magic is if it goes to steam, can it go back to that? Well, the could in condensation, you are right. So water is magical. And water, if you're really, really thirsty, nothing is better than ice cold water to drink. <coughs> what? There is juice, but water is the best. <laughs> the best. If you're really, really yeah, maybe outside now. Let's imagine it's a really hot day. Then it would be awesome. And water is great for washing ourselves. And the other thing that is so great about water is that... Well, I didn't even think of that. Did you hear that? Well, yo, this is crazy, guys. We're made of 70% of water. We're made of 70% of water. That wasn't one of the things I was going to say, but I like that. Very, very good. So water is an amazing thing. There is nothing better than diving into a cool pool or a lake or a river or an ocean when it's very, very hot out. Or if it's kind of chilly, there's nothing better than going in a hot tub. I know the youth group likes to go in Lydia's hot tub when they go over there. So water can make you feel really, really wonderful. And our story today is about water. It's about John, who was a cousin of Jesus. And he, before Jesus came, and he was just, before he had started his ministry and going about teaching everyone about God's love, John was already doing that. And he was telling people all about God and about what there was, their life would be like if they took God as their as their focus for their life on their journey. And in order to show it, they did kind of like a new beginning. Like how we just celebrated New Year's last week. It was like a new year for them. They would go to the Jordan River, which was a pretty wide river, and they would go in there and they would come out and it would be like a new life had begun. They had washed away all that had happened in their life before and they would started a new life. So. John had baptized a lot of people, and he had baptized so many that now his nickname was John the Baptist, because he had done so many baptisms. Now, all of a sudden, one day, Jesus comes along and wants John to baptize him. Well, John just can't believe it. He says something like, kind of like, get out! There is no way you want me to baptize you. You should be baptizing me. Jesus says, no. I want you to baptize me. So an amazing thing happened. I'm going to have to ditch my microphone. An amazing thing happened as Jesus went down in under the water and John baptized him and talked about his new beginnings and what his life would be like. The heavens proceeded to open up and out of there came the voice of God and it came down in the form of a dove. Came down from heaven in the form of a dove. The voice of God saying, you remember what we said earlier in the service? Saying, you are my beloved. You are my child. And I love you dearly. And so the dove flew from up above, down in the voice of God, and we may not always see a dove 
coming up from heaven like that and to have a special treat like that. But God is always saying each and every day, you are my child and I love you. We just need to listen to that, believe it, and know it with our heart. And our new beginnings will begin. Let's pray. Dear God, water is an amazing thing. It can cool us off. It can heat us up. It can, in the case of the scripture today, give us a new life. I am your child, and you are my father. Amen.